Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video by me, I am Original Canis and this is episode 2 of How Do They Do It. So for this episode um, I thought I'd bring in quite a quite a big part of Ultimate Team, um, it's actually trading. Now because I know absolutely jack shit about trading, I thought I'd bring in uh, two fellow YouTubers, good friends, and uh, we have been for quite a long time. And uh, they're both pretty good traders too, so if you two would like to introduce yourself, Fluda you do it first because you're a dickhead. <laughs> okay, um, basically I make videos on trading, I'm on Xbox, so that's basically what I do, and go on Jack. Um, I do the Road to Messi series, I don't know if any of you have watched that, um, my YouTube channel is Jack54HD, so yeah. Yeah, no one's ever heard of him though. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I took the liberty of uh, getting one trader from Xbox and one trader from PS3 because obviously the markets are hugely different. Um, so first of all, the first question I am going to ask is, if you had 20,000 coins, what would you do? So obviously both answers are going to be different because both the markets are different. So uh, Jack, you go first. Um, I'd probably trade silvers because, I don't know, you can pick them up so cheap open bid, especially at like 3am. And uh, obviously that sort of method's been going around quite a lot recently in videos, especially fluders. Um, so all he trades, isn't it? So... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you ain't seen my videos in a long time. But uh, yeah, you can make a lot of profit from that, and uh, probably also formation cards from open bid as well, and then sell them on for more. Uh, that's probably the best deals. Sorry, best ways of trading with under twenty k. Okay, my turn. Um, <laughs> well, twenty k, I'd say probably invest ten k in a cheap inform, maybe team of the week, or it doesn't have to be team of the week. That's ten k gone there, and then probably spend the rest on either silvers or bronzes. That's probably the best way to do it. And then you can make a maximum of maybe 20k plus on that. Cool, cool. So um, I would give you my answer, but I, as I said, I don't have a fucking the first clue how to trade at all. Um, so we're just going to go on to question number two, and that is, what kind of tips would you guys give out for beginning traders? So, Fluda, if you'd like to take this one away. Okay, so beginners... Just trade in small so you can't lose much money because if you lose money you're going to like doubt yourself for informs so I wouldn't start off with informs I'd start off with silvers just watch some videos on YouTube maybe from other YouTubers definitely the best way to do it anyway that's my advice um, well first I'd probably play, play a few games and get 5k or so first um, and like Fluda said don't try and invest in too many coins because when you're like when you're doing that, it's just there's so much room for error, and um, I think the silvers are obviously again probably the way to go because they're so cheap and you can sell them on for so much more um, because the market's so droughted of them. So yeah, it's probably the same, to be honest. Right, sweet. So I'm gonna need to take those uh, <laughs> that those couple of tips of advice and I'm gonna need to put them into action myself. Um, <laughs> the kind of thing that I find when I try to trade is that I don't have the attention span to sit there looking at the market, searching through players, or um, or to you know, I never really seem to find the good deals that you guys find. I mean, some people find the insane inform Modric's and inform Danny Alves's for like fucking hundred thousand coins, and they manage to sell them on for like two million. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I never seem to find any good deals, and um, even with like open bidding, whenever I try to get a player cheap on that, the Price, you know, there's normally a bid and more, and it ends up going up over the buy now price anyway. So it just pisses me off, and I find that it uses up a lot of my time, and I never really make much out of it. Um, do you guys have any specific times of the day or night that you trade? Probably like, <laughs> well, usually whenever I do it, I just, I I'm not really like focusing myself on actually trading. I'm usually just doing something else on Twitter, and then every now and then. Um, I'll search the silver market because whenever I do it, really, I search for silver in forms. So obviously, there's not going to be a, a lot of them that are going for open bid. And if you can find one of them at like 3 a.m. in the morning, then you've pretty much almost already got yourself a profit. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd probably just say 3 a.m. is probably the best time to trade if you really want to make a bit of profit. Silver method again, there, Jack. Yeah, my would mine would be <laughs> go 8k start price. And then 12k max price because that gets a, a pretty big segment of the market and it's just about 
just about the right price for an M4, a cheap M4 anyway. If you can get one for 10k, definitely sell it for 14k. There's an extra 4k or more, well, 4k or less even. So yeah, that's a definitely big way I trade in it anyway. Sweet. So now, um, the final part of this video, what are the three best deals that you've ever picked up? And now it's about time to uh, make me very jelly indeed. So uh, Jack, you start for this one. What are your three best deals that you've ever picked up? Uh, well, do they have to be in FIFA 12? Like, um, specifically? Yeah, yeah, we'll say FIFA 12 because some people may not have had FIFA 11. Um, I think, well, I got an inform, I think my, probably my, my third best one is inform Edgar for, I think it was like 30k. And I sold him for like 79k, um, so that's like a 50k profit or something. Um, I picked up, I think it was a, someone was actually price fixing Booper Diop um, at like 50k or something on the PS3. And I managed to pick one up for like 3k in an open bid at like 4am and then sold that on for I think like 45k or something. Um, I've got another one that I did in my Road to Mrs. series but my mind had gone completely blank. <laughs> so I really can't remember I'm going to tell Shane just saying okay, I, I think it was around about October this possibly my best deal ever I got a Ronaldo for 250k sold it on for 400k and yeah I was excited about that and Flat. probably my only other good deal is getting an Inform Modric for 50k and selling them on for 85k that's about it really it's ridiculous. Oh, the best deal that I've ever seen is um, Flex FIFO picked up an Inform yeah. Ronaldo for like 150k or something ridiculous. That is, I, I couldn't believe when he did that. I remember that went, that was when he was, had like 400 subs, wasn't it? Yeah, he's grown and his he, channel. He just uploaded up. that video and his channel just boomed from there. It went viral in the FIFA yeah. community. <laughs> well, yeah. So, um, thank you to. Kieran and Jack for uh, for coming on for this episode and helping me out. Um, I like to say go and subscribe to both their channels if uh, if you haven't already, and um, just tell them I sent you. And uh, apart from that, um, I'll let you guys sign out, and then uh, I'll say what I need to say, and uh, then we'll end this video. So through there, if you like to sign yourself out, and then Jack, you do it after. Go. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'm sure both of our links will be in the description somewhere. So come check no, actually, out no, there. they're not. You'll fuck off. It's <laughs> uh, 50k for a description spot. You know, if you want to put your link in the description, that's 50k. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys, this has been our original Canis, Jack V4HD, and Fluda. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to go check the links in the description. Go subscribe and uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Bye. Click the like button, comment, and uh, don't forget to favorite. Fluda just had some kind of. Heart attack, I'm not really too sure. And uh, apart from that, we're out. Bye bye.